Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. We had a great question for somebody. They were asking us, what's the easiest way of adding text over image modules? I've got two little image modules here with the crazy cars. As you can see, it's got a bit of text over the top of it there. Lady Supercar is a regular image module. When I click on it, it's going to pop out into a light box. And the same with this one next door. Now I've done this two different ways, very easy to do both of them. The one on the left is without coding, the one on the right is using a bit of coding. And if you're wondering about what that crazy number, what alphanumeric number is, these are AI images generated by Night Cafe, and that's what it gives it as a name, and I'll show you how to get rid of that if you don't want that crazy thing popping up. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder, and I'll show you how this is done. Once well, enabled, let's roll down to where we want to work. And let's just add a new row. I'm going to use the green button to add a new row. In my row, I'm going to have two columns. I'm going to use a simple image module, just like we did before. There it is. And let's add the image that we want. I'm going to upload a new image. Okay, we'll throw in the image that we want. Down below in the link, you can put any link you want there if you want them, when they click on it to take them anywhere on the web. Or you can hit the little box there to open in a light box if you wanted to pop out into a light box like we had with our images above there. Really nice little feature. I'm going to leave it on the light box for mine today. Okay. We've got our image. When we click on it, it's going to pop out. There's that crazy number I was telling you about, which was actually the name of it. If you want to get rid of it or change it. Over in the advanced, you've got attributes. There's that crazy number. You can change it to something more pertinent if you want. Now when I hover over, it should say supercar. Or if you don't want anything to pop up, I don't. Just simply delete that. And as you can see, or as you can't see, there's nothing popping up there. Fantastic. But we do want to add a bit of text to this. Maybe the most expensive supercar, perhaps. So this first one here, we're going to do it without any coding. And to do that today, let's just close this up. I'm going to add a new module. Now you can use any module you want. I'm just going to use a simple text module for this because all I want in mind is text. Obviously, if you want to put a button on there, use a button module. But let's put a text module on. And let's say most expensive. As you can see, it's put it just down here. So let's make this the way we want it. What I'll do, I'm going to turn that text white, but I'll give this a background so you can see exactly what's going on. If I turn it white now, it'll disappear into the background. Background's always under content. I'm going to go in there. Let's just chuck a blue background in. I'm going to go over a little pencil attached to it right there. Click on it. It'll take you straight to the design options for the text. Now you can choose your font. Divi's got a crazy amount of fonts. The audition one, just roll over it. It'll give you an example. I'm going to leave it on the default, which I think is open sans with Divi. I want to make mine white in color so I can see it. Great. Let's pop it into the middle. I want it to be a little bit bigger. Let's say, I think I used 22 pixels for my one above. Great. But of course, we don't want it down here. We want it up on our little image there. So to place it over our image, couldn't be easier. I'm going to go over to the advanced tab. Down to position. I'm going to change it from the default to absolute. And as you may notice, it's popped it right up at the top there. I want it bottom middle. So I'm going to select bottom middle on my little grid here. And as you can see there, it's actually below the image. Now there's two ways of fixing this. You can do it with a vertical offset and we'll be using this in a minute. Or if we go into the image module, you can just change a simple setting on there. So let's go into our image module. I'm going to save my changes here. I'm going to go back into the image module. And if we go over to design and spacing, you'll see there's a little switch that says show space below the image. If you turn that off, it gets rid of that gap. And this is actually sitting right on the bottom, which is great. Now, because we've absolutely positioned this, you may have trouble getting back into this module 
on the front end here. If that's the case, let's try it. As you can see, it's kind of difficult to get to. If you have trouble getting to it, what we can do is hit the little purple button, go to wireframe mode, little icon on the left hand side here. Just click on it. We've got wireframe mode. There's our image module. There's our text. We'll just go into the text. You can flip back to desktop mode or whichever mode you like to work in. Let's get rid of that blue background now. And we'll just position that a little bit higher up, I think. So it's similar to our one above there. So we're in our text right here. We'll go down to our background. You know that's under the content tab. We'll just trash that. We're left with just the writing itself. And to move it up, if we go back over to the advanced tab, down to the position, we use our little vertical offset now, put it where we want it. I'm going to just increment up with my little clicker right there. I think that's about right there. It's just even it up to 10. Now, if we save that now, we've got an image, we've got text over the top, and this image is still going to pop out into a light box or go to whatever link you've added to it. Let's just save our changes and we'll exit the visual builder. If we roll on down, there it is. As you see, when we roll over it, we've got that little hand icon indicating you can click on it. When I click on it, it's going to pop out into a light box. When I let go, it's going to pop back. We've got our nice text. Now, the next one I'm going to show you is pretty much the same thing, but we're going to be doing it with a bit of coding. Looks pretty much exactly the same. Now, whichever version works for you is the one that you want to use for yourself. Let's enable the visual builder again. And we'll roll back down. Let's add another image module. And we'll pop another of these crazy cars in there. Just move this over so you can see. Not sure I like the border around that one, so let's perhaps add a different one. Now let's just pop that fella in. Okay, so again, we've got our image. Again, I'm going to go into the link, have mine open into a light box. Now this time, we're not going to add a new module. We're just going to write a little bit of code. This will put the writing right over the top of this. Again, we've got that crazy little thing there. Let's get rid of that for a start. Over in attributes in the advanced tab. Don't think I want all that junk. I love Night Cafe. It generates some fantastic images, but boy, does it give some crazy titles. And if you're interested, Night Cafe, there's a link down below. It's my go-to AI for images, that's for sure. Right, let's add a bit of code. I'm going to go into our image module here. We're going to go over to the advanced tab. I'm going to go down to custom CSS. I'm going to hit the module elements tab. We've got a before. We could put it in there. We've got the main element, not going to put it in there. What I'm going to use today is the after pseudo element here. And what we've got to do is we've got to tell it we want a bit of content in there. Content, colon. Then we'll open and close some inverted commas and write what we want it to say in there. Let's say the cheapest supercar or whatever it is you want to say. That's in our little brackets there. Okay, great. And you may have noticed it's put it just below the image on the bottom left hand side there. That's fine. We'll adjust that as we go along. Put a little semicolon. We'll add another little line of code. We're going to tell it that we want to absolutely position it so we can position it anywhere on our image. So I'm going to say position, colon, absolute. And you may have noticed it's jumped up on the right hand side there. Great. Well, let's position it where we want it now. I'm going to put a little semicolon. I'm going to say bottom. I'm guessing at this, we'll adjust it in a minute. I'm going to say 10 pixels from the bottom, 10 pix. As you can see, it's down at the bottom. It's about 10 pixels up. But add a little semicolon. If we don't add the semicolon, it will not read the next line of code. So make sure you add your little semicolons there. I don't want it to be halfway across. So 50%, let's say left, 50%. Now, uh, you can barely see it there. I'll change that in a minute. It is actually in the middle there, but only the left hand side is. So what I want to do is pull it across by about half of its width there. So to do that, we can use a bit of transform translate. Transform colon translate. Oops, oh, some round brackets at the end with no gap. And I want to sort of pull it back by half of its width. So I'm going to say 
negative 50%. That's kind of jumped it in the middle there. Let's move this over to the right hand side so you can see both because I want to make the text the same size. Now, if you want to, if you wanted to change that text, you could add font family below here and you could say font dash family. Whatever you want, for instance, if I put Anton in there, comes that blocky, crazy one. Any of Divi's font families you can add there. I'm actually going to get rid of that. I'm going to leave it on the open sans, which was the default. Hopefully when I get rid of that, it'll just change back. Great. But I do want to change it white. So I'm going to drop down. I'm going to say color white, which with CSS is hashtag FFF. Or you can just write white in there if you want to as a web color. That's better. We can see it a little bit better there. I want it to be the same size as that, which I think was 22 pixels. So we'll say font size, dash size, colon, and then put in the value you want, 22 pixels. That's better. That's exactly the same size as I want over here, but it's too low down. So where it says bottom 10 picks here, let's just you can make that 20 and see what happens. That's better not quite high enough what if we make it sort of 22 or 25 even yeah that's about right there i'm gonna leave it just like that obviously adjust the tape. i think i could probably take a couple off there let's make it 23. okay now if you've got a really busy picture and your text is getting lost in there you can add a bit of text shadow if you want which will help it stand out a bit more that one's not too bad this one, I did add a bit of text shadow. If you want to do that, we can drop down one more and we'll say text, shadow, colon. I'm going to make mine say four pixels by four pixels with spread of perhaps five pixels. I want it to be black. So again, I'm going to use hashtag zero, zero, zero which is black, and that's added that text shadow there. It makes that text just stand out a little bit more, which would be really helpful if you had a sort of lighter picture or lighter parts in that. I hope that makes sense. That's pretty much all there is to that. And of course, any image you've got, you can just go ahead and copy this once you've done it once, put it in there, just change the text that you want. And just to show you how easy, let's add another image perhaps. I'll add another row, a single column, Again, we'll add an image. We'll throw one of these crazy cars in there. And to simply add the text over it, or let's add a little light box as well. We can go straight to our advanced, custom CSS, module elements, go to our after, put your cursor in there and paste what you just copied. Change the text, obviously. And that's it really. How easy is that to duplicate? Like I say, got a bit of, do a bit of coding for this particular example, but it is quicker to do really than this, especially if you're gonna duplicate it. But whichever solution works for you, use. There's a couple of ways of doing it. Let's just make sure this is all gonna work on the front end. I'm gonna save my changes. And let's hit save. And we'll exit the Visual Builder. We'll roll on down. There's the first two we did, our first one here. You can roll over it, light box it out. Second one, same thing. This is the one we did with the CSS code. As you can see, there's really no difference. Just this one is slightly easier to duplicate. And there's our quick duplication that we did with this other crazy supercar here. So there you have it guys, there's two ways of adding text over your image module, one using CSS and one just using absolute positioning with an extra module. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or just make a little demo just like this one. Now, once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.